Matthew Stuckey here from Verity Baptist Church, Philippines. Just give me a quick missionary update. This past week we had a total of 159 salvations, and so that was a good week. Um, our numbers are definitely increased. Uh, we're, we're expecting there, our numbers to be better here the rest of the year. They're getting less strict. The weather's getting better. We have more people soul winning. So I'm hoping to report to you that we can start hitting 150 on a regular basis. And so if you can just pray for that and pray that our government will uh, loosen the restrictions. It is getting a little bit better now, though. So we had a good week with soul winning. Um, in terms of sermons preached, I uh, preached through, um, you know, four reasons Peter's not the rock in Matthew 16, verse 18. Um, you know, that's kind of the main verse the Catholics use to defend uh, Peter, they're not Peter, but Pope Francis and the system of a pope and a universal church and everything like that. So, um, you know, I, I preached that sermon this weekend and also uh, on Psalm 28, I uh, just went verse by verse and we finished up Genesis 6. And so we have a lot of upcoming activities, though, that we're kind of excited about. Uh, we have our Kids Day coming in less than two weeks now. And this is going to be our first annual Kids Day. It should be a great time, and it's going to be right on the Halloween All Saints Day weekend. So I'm going to have one sermon geared against kind of dark holidays and Satanism and witchcraft. I'm going to preach a sermon against the wicked religion of voodoo. But I'm also going to have a sermon geared toward children, something they can really apply to their lives at a young age. And so when it comes to having a Children's Day, I've been at Baptist churches that have something like this, at independent Baptist churches. And, you know, I think it's good for kids to be able to create memories at church I've been involved with the junior church and preaching at, you know, the children's ministries and stuff. Obviously, we structure ours a little bit differently. So we're going to have the old-fashioned hymns for our services. We're going to have, uh, you know, preaching, you know, that's just old-fashioned preaching and everything like that, just preaching what the Bible says. And But we're also going to have some games for the kids. And obviously, you know, their parents are going to be there. Everything's, you know, everyone's going to be around and everything, but just kind of some old-fashioned kind of carnival and fair type games. My wife has been doing a great job planning it out. And so we're looking forward to a great time. I want to help create memories for these kids at a young age that um, because, you know, sometimes, especially now, it's, it's, it's hard because kids are not really allowed out. So we want to help them be able to have memories they created as a child at a young age at church. And hopefully when they grow up, they're going to remember the great times they had at church. And so we're looking forward to it, and we do have a surprise that's going to be coming that we have not told anybody at our churches about that we're going to be having there for both in Pampanga and Manila. So we're excited about it. It's going to be busy in a couple weeks, but then shortly after that, we're going to be having our anniversaries in November. Two-year anniversary in Pampanga, three years in Manila, both coming in November. So we're looking forward to that. We also have an All Saints Day Soul Winning Marathon coming on November 1st, which is a Monday the day after our Children's Day. So we have a lot coming up. Uh, we're excited about it. We're also going to be having a table tennis and a chess tournament coming up on uh, probably table tennis in November, chess in December. So it's an exciting time. And, you know, we encourage you if you tune into our ministry. I know a lot of people are within our area of our churches that, you know, don't, don't currently attend. And I can say that Last year at the anniversaries, we had new people that started coming, and they've been with us ever since then. And they're like, man, I love this church. I love the atmosphere. I love the fellowship and the soul winning and the preaching and the people. So I encourage you, you know, if you're in the area, you know, we got a lot of events coming up. Come, come out for our Kids Day that's coming in less than two weeks. It's going to come right on Halloween weekend on Saturday and Sunday. You know, come out for our anniversaries coming November. I'll talk more about that as it comes, but we got a lot of excitement coming up. Lots of soul winning going on, so we're things are definitely going well here. So just uh, continue to pray for our ministry. Thank you, and God bless.